Finally, we have Therika Leonage from the Research School of Earth Sciences at the ANU College of Science. And the title of her three minute thesis tonight is My Quest to Make the Invisible Visible. There is a website called soulburners.org where people write their most soul burning questions on a post it. Now, imagine my surprise when I found that someone else in the world had the same, very specific, soul burning question that I did. Who makes chillin veins? This question is a missing part in our story, in the history of life's emergence and evolution. Chillin veins are fossilized biological molecules, which are found in almost every rock and oil spanning Earth's long history. Similar to using fossilized bones to reconstruct a skeleton, we can use fossilized molecules to reconstruct ecosystems and the evolution of the first tiny microorganisms. But the problem is, we don't know who made chillin veins. And this is wild because there is so much of this molecule in the ground right now. If we added it all up, we would have roughly 500 billion tons. That is the same mass as adding together all the plants, animals, people, insects, and fungi alive on Earth today. That is 500 billion tons of mass right beneath our feet and we don't know where it came from. Scientists have been trying to find the microbial source of chillanthanes for decades with no success. However, I found chillanthanes in rocks that are billions of years old. To put that in perspective, if we're here, dinosaurs are about here, I found chillanthanes over here. This is when it dawned on me that the microbial source of chillanthanes must be ancient. But is it possible that they are alive and amongst us today, it was assumed that the microbial source of chillanthanes went extinct when scientists looked in the past. However, I am the first to look in the present, to look at modern environments using a new technique that I invented that can make chillanthanes visible from complex mixtures of molecules. I searched high in the European Alps and deep beneath the ice in Antarctica, and I found them. I found them in both of these places and in many more. There is an organism alive today making chill and veins. They are not extinct and they have persisted through Earth's history for billions of years. This discovery means we need to relook at everything we know about the early evolution of life. And I have so many more soul burning questions, such as how and why are these organisms making chill and veins? I want to meet whoever wrote this post-it because I want to share my discoveries with them. And I hope to keep using my research to answer soul-burning questions. <laughs>